Good morning, everyone. It's National Bring Your Pet Day, and we've got Penny here, my little my little pup. Penny is about five years old, and she is coming to work today. Penny, hey Ben. Penny, Penny, Penny. So Penny and I are going to give you a tour of our hospital in Jupiter, the North American Veterinary Health Center. And um, we'll just take a little look around, kind of give you a tour of behind the scenes and get an idea of what makes our hospital so different and so special compared to our, um, our other hospitals in the area. What you're seeing outside our front door, is, if you're wondering what this truck is, we're actually having our exterior signage changed um, and they're actually doing it this morning. We, um, the hospital was originally called the North American Veterinary Heart Center, and we updated the name to the North American Veterinary Health Center, and that's because now we offer all types of healthcare services. So now we're doing general health and wellness care, in addition to, of course, cardiology and dental procedures and, and general surgery. We're now all also offering acupuncture, regenerative medicine, nutrition, integrative medicine as well. So we'll kind of give you a little tour. This is our little area here for coffees and we usually have snacks there. So we're gonna come right behind the scenes now. And this is our reception area. These are just products that we sell, a lot of preventative stuff, such as um, heartworm and, and dental products. And this is down the hallway. Over here is our foundation office. And this is where our foundation director, Daniel Sohn, um, sits. This is his desk. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down the hall, we're gonna come right behind the scenes. Do not enter, but we're gonna enter. Okay, this is what most people never get to see. So we're here obviously before work starts and everyone else gets here. So this is just a good shot of what's back here. This is our intensive care area and nurses station, our pharmacy. This is our induction area, meaning this is where we prep the patients for surgery, they go under anesthesia out here, and then they're wheeled into our OR over here. And I'll take you a quick little tour of the OR as well, because I, I know everyone wants to see what it looks like. This, before we step in here, here's our future cath lab. And when I mean future cath lab, I'm talking in about two weeks. Uh, Tampa General Hospital so generously donated a CR machine, which is gonna be go right in the middle of this floor. And that machine is, is basically it's a fluoroscopy unit. And that's gonna allow us to do minimally invasive procedures, such as doing um, PDAs and stents and in implanting pacemakers. And we'll be the only hospital in South Florida that has um, this equipment. So we'll be able to do a lot of procedures without having to go um, in the main operating room. And then this over here is our x-ray equipment. And you may say, oh, it looks pretty standard. It's not. We're actually one of only five in the entire state of Florida. This is the latest and greatest in x-ray equipment. And what makes it so special is that it's an ultra low dose x-ray machine, meaning that it produces 60 to 65% lower dose radiation exposure than a standard low dose x-ray unit. So translation, what that means, it's safer for pets and it's safer for veterinary professionals. And it produces high definition x-rays. Let's see if we can pull up something here. There we go. It's an example of our x-rays. Super crisp, clear x-rays, all high definition and low dose. So then what we're gonna do, we can take a little walk around here. Other things with this hospital that make it very different is when I built it, I built it to 
human hospital level standards, meaning all of the AC units throughout the entire hospital have been converted to what you would find in a human hospital, meaning they're super HEPA filtration, UV light scrubbing. So it's a very, very clean environment. It, there's no odors, there's no smells. That's why when people walk in the door, they comment like, wow, this place doesn't smell like a normal veterinary clinic. Well, it's because we're not a normal veterinary clinic. We want to be the most, um, have the most clean, the cleanest environment possible for our patients because a lot of the surgeries that we do are very um, intense. And we want to make sure that the environment is, is set up so we have the best chance for more success. These giant units here that you see, these are our intensive care units. Um, you can fit four patients, one, two, three, four, and they basically are controlled environments for our patients that need to have maybe more oxygen than, um, than what they can get for breathing you know, regular air. This actually can concentrate the oxygen and saturate them. Um, in addition to that, we can control the temperature, the humidity levels, um, know what the CO2 levels are in the, on the machines. We had these units custom built just because the units that were on the market, I didn't like, they didn't meet our standards. And you've got some standard kennel cages here. Back here is our pharmacy. Some more kennel cages here. And, oh, let me show you this. This is really cool. So our kennel cages don't sound like regular kennel cages, meaning that when you open and close the cages, you would think the steel and you, normal kennel cages, you bang on them and they just sound loud and tinny and, and it scares the pets. Ours are all lined with a soundproofing and deadening material. So listen to that. It's quiet. It's a much quieter environment and it helps the pets not to get scared when they move around the, the cage and they hear this tin can sound like sounding. Um, ours don't do that. So we're gonna go over here. This is our um, central sterilization prep area and then central sterilization room. So when we have surgical instruments that need to be sterilized, they start here, clean them here first, and then they all move over into central sterilization. And in here is where the big beast lives. This is a ginormous auto autoclave, and um, it's a unit that you would normally find in a human hospital. It's a hospital level grade two um, autoclave. It uses heat, pressure, steam, and vacuum to sterilize our surgical instruments. And then whoever can't take the high temperatures, they go in this little, little unit here. This is a gas sterilization unit. So it's much safer for anything that may have plastic on it. Now we're gonna go take a peek into our operating room. And our operating room, as well as our cath lab, are pretty special because both of the rooms are, have lead-lined walls. So all of these walls, the doors and the glass are leaded. And what that does is it basically helps to block any um, digital interference, radio interference into these rooms. If we're doing a very um, in high-tech procedure, let's just say, and you are, are using telemetry, you don't want those signals to get um, confused with other signals that may be in the hospital. It could be cell phones, could be whatever other equipment's in the hospital. And the lead actually helps shield the equipment so you're getting accurate readings. Um, in addition, these rooms, this one and the, o, the uh, cath lab are called positive pressure ORs, meaning that when we close the doors, there's more air conditioning and um, sterilization of the air in the OR, staying in the OR and not escaping. Or I should, let me back that up. Let's say this again. So when, when the door is closed, there's more air coming into the operating room than coming under the door. So when you close the door, there's air being forced out of the room. So it controls the, um, the amount of um, non-clean non air, let's just say in the room. And over here, point out some of the equipment. We won't step into the operating room, but this unit here is our heart-lung bypass machine. So when we do open-heart surgeries, 
there would be a person standing here, a perfusionist, who would be able to run this machine to do those complicated surgeries. Over here is our human level anesthesia machine. And then there's two other pieces of equipment back here. Um, they're called cell savers, and they allow us to not have to rely so much on blood transfusions if needed. Those machines will actually um, clean the blood so we can reuse it and put it back into the bodies. Pretty cool room, huh? It's one of the largest uh, operating rooms in the, in the private sector. So I come around here where all the scrubs are kept, nice and neat. It's a crash cart. I'm gonna go take a look at the dental suite. So this room is where all our dental procedures are done and oral surgery. Everything's done in here. Um, there's always an anesthesiologist in here and a dental expert. It's always Dr. John Klarsfeld. And um, yeah, if your dog or cat needs any dental work, you can be assured that they're getting the absolute and highest safety protocols. The latest equipment, it's a pretty cool machine. It's like the Cadillac of dental equipment. Over here, there's our employee lounge and conference area. So if we have any meetings, we've got monitors where we can display presentations and such. How are you doing, Penny? That's my Penny. <laughs> Just wandering around. Over here is our blood laboratory. And the blood laboratory allows us to basically get test results within eight to 10 minutes depending on what type of test we're doing, which is very cool. So if the doctors need to know what's going on with the patient back there, if something's happening and they need results right now, we can do that. We have everything here. And we've got two beautiful exam rooms, nice, spacious, comfy exam rooms. Pretty cool. I love the uh, wall art. And this is a duplicate. Same size, as comfy exam rooms. What's also really cool is that when pets come here, they don't realize that they're at the vet. Again, it may have to do because it doesn't, doesn't smell like a vet's office. We're not um, overcrowded with, you know, in the lobby. We try to limit our cases to you know, roughly eight cases a day, so the lobby's not packed. This is our cardiology suite, and this is the room where all of our cardiac patients come in and they get their um, echocardiograms and this is where the cardiologist does all of the um, those procedures. And come back around down our hallway and then this wall is a pretty special wall. You're looking at it like, Geo, what are you talking about? There's nothing special about that wall. This whole wall is gonna be donated, is gonna be designated for our foundation for people who donate to the foundation, such as Tampa General Hospital, we're actually having, we're honoring them and putting their name on the wall as donors. Um, so this whole wall will be designated our donor wall, which is pretty cool. And that is our tour of our hospital. If your pet needs any healthcare um, checkups or exams, anything like that, please give us a call. It's 561-250-6580, or you can reach us on the web at www.navhc. It's just our initials, North American Veterinary Health Center, navhc.com. And until then, enjoy the rest of your week, what's left of it, and your weekend. Penny, say goodbye, Penny. All right, bye everyone. Have a great day.